In this lesson, we're going to add a carousal with images on it. So to scroll, you know, okay, click on carousal. Then you have the option here. Do you want this to autoplay? Do you want to show the controllers, you know, to the left and the right? Do you want to show the arrows? And you can choose the background. You can choose the font colors. And then here's where you choose the item. So there's the content. Let's just grab an image. And you can put in the image you want. I'm just going to grab this Joomla one here and then insert. All right, so that one is going to show. And then you want to put the button. You can choose the, the button size, the button type. Let's see, I want to grab an icon. And then you want to click on save. So this is what it looks like now. You can't really see it because of, of the position and uh, that's there. So let's let's work on that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the title and I change this image to something that's a little bit larger. Okay, let's click save. And one of the things too about this is that Based on the look that you're going for, you have so much flexibility to change it to how you want it to be. So there are times when you, you know, you have to make some tweaks and changes and updates to get that specific look that you're, you know, you're going for. All right. So let's take a look now and see what this looks like. OK, so you have the button here in the middle and we have just one image. So if you don't want this text to be here, then you can you can delete the text. So let's go ahead and add some more items here. Browse one. And then let's add this one here. There's a two. And you can choose different images for each one. So I'm going to grab a different image here. And let's create one more. Just copy. Just change that from two to three. And then select another image. And you can add as many images as you like, but I recommend that you don't, you know, you don't just add a whole bunch of images, you know, you want to keep things light. And then you can choose the button too that shows up for each one. So right now, this one here, this is the button that's shown here with this bike and the icon. You can customize it for each uh, carousal, the buttons and the text that goes there. So for this one here, let's click learn more now and then let's change the button size to large and we can change this to primary and let's change for the second one to large and let's change this one to success and then from a bicycle to a bed and let's go back to the first one here and let's change this one Let's make this large as well. And we want to keep this one at default. And change the bicycle icon to Bitcoin. All right, so you click Save. So when you refresh it now, you're able to click on the arrows and it slides like this. But as you notice now, you know, everything is just, you have the text on there. And once again, you can be able to to customize those. You can add, you know, bigger images. You can add smaller images, or you don't have to add an image there at all. So let's take a look at that option here. If you didn't want to add an image, so let's go here to each one and just remove the images from them, so that you can see what it looks like, and then you decide if you want to add images for those. All right, so here you have it with just just the plain text, no images. So maybe this, you know, this can be a look that you're going for where you want to, you know, add just the content and have people click on it. 
So it's, it's very clean, it's a very nice slider, and you can put it anywhere on your website.